Hello and welcome back to Matt Hayes Tottenham blog and to a special episode of the Tottenham Hotspur Transfer Talk series. Uh, it's special for two reasons. First of all, we got some good news on Marcel Sabitzer and second of all, I'm joined by Marcelo. Marcelo, it's been way too long. How are you getting on? I'm doing good, Matty. I'm doing good. I'm sorry that I haven't come on. You know, I've been working and... Uh... You know, just t- the timing never seemed right. You know, I get the days off, and then you know, you, you do the video the other day. It's just, it's been unfortunate, man. It's been one it of those things. But uh, I'm back. Here we go. I'll be back from Newcastle. We'll be pl- watching that together. The Three Musketeers. So it's all good, man. I'm back. Absolutely. We can't let it go that long again. It's absolutely incredible no. to have you back. And look, uh, the news today, everyone, is that uh, Orby Leipzig are aware that Marcel Sabitzer will not renew his contract, which expires in 2022, and that he wants to change clubs this summer. He wants a Premier League move, and Tottenham are 75% likely to be his next club. That is coming from the German outlet Build. Now, before we dive into that story, I just do want to remind you, if you are new to the channel and you want more of these Transfer Talk series, plus that uh, Newcastle watch along Marcelo was talking about on Sunday, and the Tottenham Fan Voice podcast, do make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the like button if you are happy with this incredible news uh, about Marcel Sabitzer but look let's not take much longer let's dive straight into this Marcelo he's a player that you've been calling for quite a while how does this news make you feel listen he he is a versatile player you know it's 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 what we need he can play anywhere in the midfield whether you know it's even DM uh central midfield attacking midfield the guy's even played right wing sometimes you know Maddie like the guy can just do anything and um I feel like we are going to keep Mourinho, right? Uh, he's going to need a player like Mar- Marcel Sabitzer. You know, I've been calling him out. He seems like a Mourinho player. You know, he'll play anywhere. You know, just tell me how far I jump and I jump. That's the type of player he is. And uh, I think he, he can do wonders at our club. And I, I would love to see him. Love to see him at this club. It would be it would be a fantastic signing. I think aside from the fact that he is a, a very good footballer, I think it would be a statement signing as well from Spurs. He's a player Absolutely. who has garnered attention from uh, a lot of the big clubs. But just quickly taking a look at the situation he's in at the moment, um, as Bill mentioned there, his contract does expire next summer. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's a lot of optimism that he could be available for a cup price fee. Now, Leipzig at the moment are apparently hoping to hold out for about 42 million euro, which I, I don't think is possible. I think they will have to let him go for a little bit less because of uh, his apparent desire to leave the club. Do, you, do yeah. you think we could get him for less than forty-two million? Uh, I thought we could have gotten him for thirty-five in January if we really, really pushed it. But now, since you know he he's stated that he's definitely not going to sign it, I say we. I think we can really you know do one on, on them, you know, get it under them, and uh, you know maybe Levy does his usual you know magic trick and get him for like half of his price, you know, like he usually does. So I think definitely we can get a good discount on him. And even then, man, I'll say this, you know, although 40, 40 million is a lot for our club, you know, like, especially in the pandemic, he is, he is worth it, man. He is, he is worth that really. And more, but I think we can get a good price for him. And I think if we, you know, we should really be gunning for him. I think in the summer we should be be gunning for him. And, you know, as you said, in your last transfer window, you know, the defense, but he, he is a guy that can change our attack. He, He, we really need him. I fully agree with you there. And look, you're mentioning his versatility and, and where he can play. Uh, so far this season, he's played in centre midfield, defensive midfield, yeah. attacking midfield, centre forward and in right wing. So he really is a player who can who can play anywhere. He scored six yeah. goals and registered two assists for uh, for Leipzig in the Bundesliga this season. Had a, a bit of a run in the Champions League, of course, but that didn't uh, that didn't end very well for Leipzig getting knocked out by Liverpool. But for me, the most impressive thing about Sabitzer is that He's a player who, look, he has incredible quality. He's, for me, he has some kind of similarities with Christian Eriksen that he can sit in that number 10 role and he can he can pull the strings from there as well. But he can go out wide. You know, he's not yeah. the quickest of players, but he kind of makes up for it with his uh, with his technical ability and stuff like that. And what I what I realised looking at that Tottenham team is we are so top-heavy in that attacking midfield yeah. area. We have Ali, we have Lo Celso, we have Ndamele can play there, Bergwijn, Lucas, Lamella. Um, but it's it's such a, a busy part of that pitch for us. But we we don't have a player that we can really and truly rely on no. uh, in that area. Like you look at Lucas Moura has been incredible, and I mean incredible in that number ten role in the last couple of months. But it it doesn't seem to be his natural position, and you don't know how long that is going to last. So he's how important not, is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. He's just not a natural number ten. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you said. You said it perfectly, Maddie. We we've been missing Christian Eriksen ever since he left. Ever since he left, nobody has replaced him to, you know, have that flair, to have that consistency, you know, and, um, you know, to also, you know, score our bangers. You know what I mean? We need someone to score some bangers outside, the, you know, the box. You know, it's either only Son and Kane, but we also need that number 10 that, you know, can threaten outside the box. It has that bomb 
you know, foot, you know, and um, you know, just drive it and or or have the flair and creativity. And I think Sabatsar can do wonders for that. His passing is fantastic. He's got a great shot on him. I, I don't know if you saw his goal. Um, I forgot what was the name of the team, but it, it was a wonder goal. I, I I'll, I'll send I'll send you a message on it on uh, on Twitter. But it, you know he scores some wonder goals, man. And and another thing I like about him is that he is an intense you know type player. He is not afraid to you know run around the block, tackle. He's he's a guy that you know he's very physical. He's physically strong, you know, which is very strange for Bundesliga. You know, most Bundesliga players tend to be more with flair, but he's also very strong. If you look at his physique, he's a, he's a he's a beast, man. So I think mm-hmm. you fit perfectly. I think you'll be a perfect Mourinho player. Absolutely, and and on on that note, he's he's the the kind of demographic of player that Jose Mourinho has been looking to sign during his time at Spurs. Yeah. You know, he's not a young player; he's not one for the future, but he's no. he's one for the now. And I think he's twenty seven years of age. He's coming into the prime of his career. I think yeah. it, it really really does fit that bill of player that that Jose Mourinho is looking for, not just in terms of the way he plays on the pitch or, or quality in his, his own situation as well. Typical Spurs signing, running uh, running down his contract. And you know, we heard the rumors yesterday that we're looking to get Florian Tovan on a free as his contract runs down. So it is definitely a, a, a typical Daniel Levy move as well. But yeah. the, what I want to ask Marcelo is, how do we fund this deal? Because we've heard from, from Alistair Gold, even as recently as yesterday, that Tottenham yeah. do need to sell if we do want to bring in players. So if, let's imagine for a second it was going to be a 42 million euro transfer. What players would you ship out to be able to afford this Marcel, Marcel Sabitzer deal? I know you're going to hate me, but I, I've already said it. You know, if you don't want to be here, he's got to go, man. You know, I love him. You know, it was a great run while it lasted. But, you know, Deli Alley would be the yeah. obvious obvious choice to fund Sabitzer. <laughs> and also, it just makes sense, Maddie. I know it's tough, but it makes sense because if Sabitzer comes – you know, Deli Alley. You know, unless he, you know, really steps up and starts playing well, he's not going to get much game time. He's already not getting much game time now. You know, I mean, Lucas <laughs> Mora is combating for his position for Pete's sake. You know, no, no offense to Lucas, but you know, if Sabasar comes in, he's not going to get any game time, <laughs> and it's not going to be good for Deli Alley. It's not going to be good for Spurs. You know, financially, it won't make sense. So, sell Deli Alley, get Sabasar. And, uh, you know, it, and like you said, just just sell, you know, if we need to sell a couple of players to bring in one quality player, I'm OK with that. We're, we're in a point where we need to rebuild our front 11 or our, our first 11. You know, we, we don't have a consistent first 11. So if it means selling a couple of players and getting one first 11, I'm OK with that. So if we have to sell Eric Dyer, if we have to sell Wanks, we have to sell Sissoko. And Delhi just to get Savitzar, I'm okay with that. I'm like we we need quality right now, and he's the guy, man. He's the guy. He is. He is, and it's exciting that the, this news has come. Look, there's there's rumors that Liverpool are also interested in him, which we'll touch on in a second. But but like you say, we need we need a basis eleven. You know, we have a very very deep squad, but the problem with that squad is there's not a lot of quality in there. No. Like you look at the likes of Joe Roden being left out of that um, Europa League squad. We do have so many players to choose from, but only a handful of those players really fit the bill yeah. and actually are at the level that that, that we want at, at Spurs. And like you said, if we need to sell three or four players to get in Sabitzer, get that deal done because he's someone you know at, at this stage of his career coming into the Premier League for the first time, he will have a point to prove. You know, players in the Bundesliga often struggle to acclimatize to the to the English leagues. You're looking at Timo Werner and and, and Kai Havertz this season. Even look at Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, back when he first joined Chelsea, it's not an easy step to make. And look, there will be a, an adaption, uh, a period where he needs to adapt to, to the new league, but he'll have a point to prove. He'll have a, th- that bit between his teeth. And yeah. I think he can really be a player that, that changes Tottenham season next season. Now, look, I mentioned there, Liverpool are interested in um, in signing Marcel Sabitzer. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure how far that has gone, but look, as Bill said, Tottenham is his most likely destination. Marcelo, do you think we need Champions League football to attract a player like Sabitzer? I was, I was <laughs> literally was about to say that. I was about to say, as much as I want Sabitzer and as much as he wants to come to Spurs, I think a lot of it depends this season. And a lot of it depends on Mourinho as well. You know, like, I, we don't know what Mourinho, you know, job is, if he's going to have a job at the end of the season, if he doesn't get top four. You know, we know how Danny Olivi is. He's a, he, he pulls on the trigger quickly, man. You know, he's not afraid to do that. And if he can get a Nagelsmann, who he thinks is going to get him top four, he'll do it. So I think a lot of it depends on the season, you know, whether Mourinho gets top four, whether Daniel Levy goes crazy or not, you know, there's still a lot of deciding factors, but yes, 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 we need top four. And this is why I keep telling people we need like, as much as I want to win the Carabao cup 
And trust me, I'm going to get that day off. I've been hounding my, <laughs> my boss. I will get that day off. As much as I want to watch us lift the Carabao Cup, top four is more important for our future than Carabao Cup because Marcel Sabitzer is not going to come to Tottenham Hotspurs because we won a Carabao Cup. Believe me. He's gonna come because he's playing. We're playing Champions League, and if you now you're talking about Liverpool, right? A lot of clubs are interested in him, and if he says mm -hmm. he's not gonna go to Tottenham, they're gonna come in, and they're gonna probably get him even for even cheaper, you know. So I think it's important for us to finish top four because it will give us leverage over a Liverpool. Because if Liverpool mm -hmm. don't finish in the top four, you know, yeah, Klopp, great manager, won trophies, but. He's not in that top four. He's not in that position yet. And Marcel Sabasar is in the prime of his career, and he cannot be wasting it, you know, with another rebuild. He needs to, Absolutely. you know, he's here for, you know, to win trophies. And look, Tottenham do need top four or three points off the top four, and the yeah. final push for that uh, position, the end of the season, is in sight. And we start that yeah. off with against Newcastle on Sunday. And don't forget to join myself, Marcelo, and David, the Irish Hotspur, on the watch along right here on this channel on Sunday to, to watch that game from from lineups right through to the uh, to the very end. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you make sure uh, you don't want to miss that one. Uh, do smash that like button as well. And if you want to buy a Matthews Tottenham vlog branded mug, like I said, if you've ever dreamed with a, a cup with my face drawn on the side of it, link for that will be down in the description below. We're going to have a Few more things out uh, in the coming weeks as well for for you to buy it's a good way to support the channel and it's a I suppose uh, to get a little bit something in return as well uh, if you do want to become a member for exclusive uh content and access to member call and shows do hit that join button down below as well uh make sure to go over and check out marcelo on twitter um i'll put a link for that down in the description below as well he doesn't have his channel yet but uh, no. i'm telling you uh, it, it, it it may be a while but i'm going to make sure there is one in the future um, yeah look, marcelo, we'll, see. we'll see but i didn't know you had mugs maddie oh man yeah, i gotta get one last couple of days. i gotta get one do you do you ship to the u.s or no um it's i, I do it on teespring i assume they ship to the u.s the, the, all right, the all right. <laughs> i'm getting me a mug bro i, I gotta drink I uh that. you know my maddie hayes mug <laughs> <laughs> everyone follow marcelo's footsteps make sure to go down and get that mug like i said like subscribe share comment all that good stuff let us know actually as well in the comments below your opinions on this marcel sabster news and thank you very much to marcelo and as well to everyone who has uh, tuned in as always thanks so much for watching come on